In this tutorial, I will be covering the different gesture detectors in Android, that way you can detect double taps, long presses, flings, and more in your app. A great example is my Face Analyzer app, which is on the Google Play Store, and the link is in the description. So in the app, I have this image here, and I can double tap to rotate the image counterclockwise, and long press to rotate it clockwise. So that's what I'll be showing you in this tutorial. To get started, you can copy the code that I have here for my main activity.java as well as the activity main.xml. It's basically a button at the center of a relative layout. And we will be using this button to detect touch gestures which occur when the user places one or more of their fingers on the screen. The pattern of gestures is then interpreted as either a long press, double tap, or other such events. In order to listen to touches, we're going to say button dot set on touch listener and then say new view dot on touch listener, which is an interface. And it's going to automatically implement this method called on touch, which listens for touches. And it also provides us with a motion event. So if you go over to the documentation from Android developers, you can see that the motion event has these uh, fields like action down, action move, action up, which we can use to detect the type of action that took place. For our purposes, we want to be more specific and detect um, long presses or double taps. In order to do so, we're going to use a gesture detector class. So I'm going to go ahead outside of my onTouch method. I'm going to type gesture detector and create my object for it. Then I'm going to say new gesture detector. For the parameters, you do command P or control P. You can see one of them is context. I'm going to say application context. And the last thing we have to provide is an on gesture listener which in order to create, I'm just simply going to say a new gesture detector. And then you can see there are actually four options. So three of them are interfaces, which you have to implement the methods of. I'd recommend using the simple on gesture listener. This is a class and you can use this to detect a variety of different cases. Now I'm going to put a semicolon here and inside my gesture detector, if you do control O, then you can see a bunch of methods that you can override. And uh, some of the ones that we have here are on scroll, on fling, on down, on double tap, on single tap, and we also have on long press. For the purposes of this example, I'm only going to use on long press and on double tap over here. So I'm going to hit OK, and it adds these methods over here. It overrides them. Now what we may want to do is in order to determine whether we double tapped or long pressed as a user, we can just create a toast to display that message. So I'm going to say toast make text get application context and I'm going to say long press toast length short dot show. And if you don't know what toasts are in Android, I recommend that you check out my previous tutorial on what toasts are and how to make them. Over here, I'm going to type double tap. And now I have my gesture detector, which will listen for on long press and on double tap. The final step that we have to take in order to actually process these events from our gesture detector is to go into our onTouch method that we implemented from view.onTouchListener over here. And then we're going to use our gesture detector object and say dot set, I mean dot onTouch event and pass in the motion event that we're listening to from our onTouch method. After running it, I have my app over here with the button and when I tap on it once, nothing happens. However, when I long press on it, when I hold on to it, you can see it says long press. It makes that toast. And when I double tap on it, it uh, makes the toasting double tap because we're passing in the motion event that the app is detecting when the button is touched. And from there, if it's a long press, we're going to make that toasting long press. Otherwise, we're going to say double tap. And that's how you detect gestures in Android. You could go and do control O and then implement other ones that you want, like on down, on scroll, on fling but these are two that I just demonstrated. In an upcoming tutorial, I will teach you how to make an alert dialog like shown over here, and also how to make your own custom alert dialogs, like the one in my irrigation app, which is available on the Google Play Store.